This is one of my morning routines that I do every morning. This wonderful healing ring was made by Leah Roberts. She's a wonderful, wonderful energy alchemist. I had her do this for me. I drew out the design while I was meditating. And then I had her do the design for me. It's a main he the main healing ring is the, the one that Spur uh, Sterling invented, which is built upon the ancient Egyptian pyramid measurements, the cubics, the way, the way it's twisted, the way everything. And then what I had her do is I had her um, build what I seen in my vision and then put that intention in there. And it's got the stones and the way the, how many beads are on there and how many stones are on there and the way it's set and everything. The intention that she puts on there is absolutely freaking off the charts. So then what I do is I put inside these rings, I have saphrodite, moldavite, a prophecy stone, which, I mean, saphrodite is a super high, actually moldavite is a really high tech type, but saphrodite is higher than moldavite as far as energy goes. The prophecy stone is absolutely off the charts for energy. Oh my gosh, it's intense. And then this little guy I found in Arkansas while I was digging for crystals. It looks like an elongated skull. It looks like there's an eye, a nose, a mouth, and a chin, and the elongated skull. This is actually one crystal. It's never been broke. You can see that it's never been broke. And I just found it in the clay when I was uh, digging for crystals. It's fully formed like this. Isn't that amazing? It looks like a crystal skull. It's so cool. The energy this holds is absolutely amazing. So I'll put this little guy. I've already charged all these guys with the moon energy. And so I'll put these guys inside the healing ring to add the intensity and the energy of what I'm doing with this ring. This ring, uh, the bulbous life uh, force chart, this ring alone is harnessing as enough energy as the sun. It's absolutely off the charts. And then I've put inside the rings these powerful tectites and the powerful crystal skull that I found. Then once I'm done with that, then I have my ancient antique Tibetan bowl, singing bowl that I acquired, and I have fully charged moon water inside of it. <laughs> and once I'm done, the energy that that holds is absolutely amazing. The energy changes the frequency, the molecular structure and frequency of the water just by dinging it. So what I'm doing is changing the molecular frequency of the water before I drink it, which is absolutely amazing, plus getting a full chakra bath. So what I do is I ding it on the right side, which is the feminine. I come over here and ding it on the left side, which is the masculine. Then I come up here and ding it up here, which is the feminine again. And then I come down over here and ding it on the bottom, which is the masculine side again. And depending on how many times, how balanced I am as far as my, my chakras and my energy is how many times I ding it. Because what happens if you're standing here just flat footed like this, what happens is I just seen 344 on the clock. <laughs> synchronicity. I love synchronicities. When you ding it and you just relax, your body will either shift to the right or to the left if you just relax. What that's telling you is either you're too much in your feminine or too much in your masculine. And this would be just right. So once I ding it once, my body will shift one way or the other. And I ding it again and my body will shift again one way or another. And I keep dinging it. Usually three to four times is all I have to ding it. And then all of a sudden my body will be perfectly balanced and upright straight. And once it is that, then I go over here and I will ding it on this side, depending on how many times I need. Usually it's about the same time. So if it's three times on this side, it's three times on that side. But you'll feel your body shift one way or the other. And it's telling you if your body is balanced or not. And once that body is balanced, then you can go up here and ding it up here and then down here. And then once it's done, it has changed the molecular frequency of that water for the energy that's inside all of that that's underneath this bowl plus the bowl itself and how it was made. Everything that's made is infused in energy. 
So when the people, whoever made this bowl, their intentions on making this bowl was put into the energy of this bowl and that energy will exude into whatever, you know, either the water or, you know, your chakras or if you're doing it without water. <clears throat> and then, of course, the energy ring that's underneath was made with intention. And then my intentions for the stones put into that plus their energy changes all of that water that I drink. And then I drink it, usually I'll take three to four gulps of the water. And I do starting with my right side and I'll do a right stretch after I do that. And then I'll switch to the left hand and drink from the left hand, which is the masculine hand and drink three to four gulps on that side and then stretch that way. This is what I do prior to my morning dowsing. It's absolutely amazing. So you're, you're not only doing a full chakra bath, you're balancing your masculine and feminine, plus giving your body all the energy. And plus when I'm in my meditational trance and do this, I can actually feel the water vibrating down my throat, into my belly, and then within usually a few minutes, my whole, vi my whole body feels like it's vibrating. Like this, it, <clears throat> the water vibrates the cells in your body and your cells are everything. Your whole body is made up of cells. So it's like within a few minutes, your whole body is just vibrating. It's absolutely freaking off the charts. Anyway, I wanted to show one of my morning routines. I do this prior to my, my dowsing that I do every morning, which is kind of, it's the ancient tantric yogic system. It is the original yoga that was done in ancient times that I have, um, I say downloaded from my past lives, but I have um, acquired through meditation and doing past life regression. Um, I have acquired the ancient ways through doing that. And so that's what I do every morning. And I, I named it Tao Zing. It's like Tao, like the Tao, which um, Lao Tzu taught, taught the Tao, which is just, which means the flow, being in the flow. And then I added zing on the end of it because I like the fact that I'm using this for positive intentions for ascension. So I put a positive zing on the end of Tao, so Tao zing. That's why I named it Tao zing, because it's in the flow with positive intentions. It's absolutely amazing. This is my, mor my whole morning system that I do every morning. It usually takes me, if I go the full routine, it probably takes me about an hour, but it's absolutely amazing. God bless everybody. Have a wonderful day.